the Methodist Church, elders, the General Secretary, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, members of our Gilmer Day Festival Committee. I'm not making this confession as Prime Minister of Fiji. As I do not hold the government accountable for my actions of 1987. I do not claim to be making this confession on behalf of the Bonua Navatu. I'm not Tui Navatu. I'm just a member of the Ebus Navatu, Bonua Navatu of the Conroy. But I make this confession on my own behalf and on behalf of all those that took part with me in the military coup of the 14th of May, 1987. We confess our wrongdoings. We confess that we have hurt so many of our people in Fiji, particularly those of the Indo-Fijian community of the time, and among them, sons and daughters, grandsons and granddaughters of those that were indentured or indented as laborers from India between 1879 and 1916. We confess that we have wronged you. We confess that many eventually left our shores. Those of you that remain and slog on with us and have brought some restoration in our relationships over the far past few years, I thank you. I thank the community leaders who have worked tirelessly to bring the two communities of indigenous Fijians and Indo-Fijians together. The work is not complete. We will have to continue I do, not make this, I do not make this as an excuse, but I wish those before us had done this in the years gone by. Long before 1987, long before 1970, I admit our wrongdoings. You are correct to have blamed us. You have every right to blame us for the difficulties you went through. We do not blame you for being angry with us or even hating us. You're justified in your anger and your hate. I stand here to confess and to ask for your forgiveness. I have made my confession personally to some affected by our deeds in 1987. 
those that I did not reach, I hope I'm coming across to you today here and on live stream. Please forgive us. As you forgive, you release us and you are released. You are released from hatred. You are released from your anger. And we can begin to feel the peace of God come into our beings, come into our lives. I pray that God will empower us to forgive us, to forgive each one today. And no longer carry that burden of hate and anger as we move forward from today. I thank the organizing committee for accepting the request from the Methodist Church to put on this Thanksgiving and reconciliation service. Reconciliation can never be successful reconciliation can never be successful if the two parties to be reconciled do not agree those of us who have wronged you come and confess our wrongdoings it's up to you to forgive us I pray that God will give you the power. It is beyond the human power. The power to forgive is not human. The power to forgive is godly. The power to forgive can only come from God. We all know that old adage, to err, is human to forgive divine. Today, I, Sitiveni Lima Mandarumbuka, on behalf of those who were with me in 1987, ask for your forgiveness and pray that God will grant you the serenity, the power to forgive us. God bless you all. We invited the Turanga Nabunivalu, but he re relayed that he was sick, but his Matenivanua uh, is here to read out on behalf of the Kumbuna Feathers. Uh, we'll be here to represent him. <laughs> 